Hello, fellow brats. I'm Marion Milner McCarthy, a novelist and a baby boomer Air Force brat. In my novel, Beneath the Wild Blue, I tell the story of the Stoddards, a fictional mid-century Air Force family. Rand Stoddard, the oldest of four children, is a moody 13-year-old when his family is transferred from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio to a NATO base in Naples, Italy. Rand is sick of being the older brother to his two ridiculous little sisters, and he's a little disgusted that he's always got to be a part of this traveling family, spit-shined, and ready for the next adventure. Here are Rand's thoughts as... He's aboard a Pan Am flight about to land in Rome. The airplane trip was an embarrassment, sitting next to one screaming brat sister and one fat, fawning one. Rand slumped in his seat, trying to pretend he wasn't with them, wasn't part of this spit shine perfect Air Force family, with his dad in uniform and his mother smiling and gritting her teeth, praying, he knew, that they'd get through the flight without a meltdown from the toddler Tommy or another scream fit from devilish Debbie. He felt sorry for Linda, all dressed up with her purse, in awe of it all, staring with her mouth open at all the chic stewardesses. But at the same time, he loathed her, trying so hard to be grown up, clinging to her ridiculous little purse. He closed his eyes and tried to wipe them all from his mind. Ladies and gentlemen, we are descending over the city of Rome on course for our landing at Fiumicino Airport. Those on the left side of the cabin can see the sunrise over the Tiber River, the bridge, and some of the buildings in the city. He was on the left side, and he was already taking it in. Below, it was as if the world he imagined had come to life. A splendid, glittering river, a city with spires and peaked roofs, a graceful bridge and barges, no shopping malls, burger chefs, or motels with flamingo signs. He was arriving in Europe, a timeless place that had seen great wars and great triumphs, a place of beautiful buildings in cities that glittered at sunrise. A world, from this view, as Jules Verne might have imagined, a place of substance, yet a place of dreams. The chatter of his sisters faded. The drowsy sullenness subsided. Rand felt himself wide awake, eager as a child, longing to experience all that was ahead. You've just listened to an excerpt from my book, Beneath the Wild Blue, narrated by Robert Robin Sigerman and available on Audible. It's also available as an ebook on Amazon and as a paperback on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Ingram Spark, and other places. If you'd like to hear more or see more about what I'm working on next, visit my website, marianmccarthy.com. Thanks for listening.